Alright, yeah, another snake video, I think. I was going to make an effortless video, but I said, what the hell? I could do something so much more fun. Alright, never mind. <laughs> anyway, um, like a couple few points. Alright, so, he says he's smarter than I am. Um, yeah, well, whatever. I'm wrestling or something, have a contest. Um, but, yeah, I just, it's just so funny, right? I mean, to, to say something like that in the context of these idiotic videos, and especially when he said things that are just so stupid, like, you know, wolves hunting gazelles. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we'll cut him a little slack. Um, uh, so, so he spent most of this video just arguing for population control. But it's extreme if you want population control for any other reason than because somehow you think this has to continue. You know, somehow you have to civilize the world so you can protect the civilization from the non-civilization, which is, as a practical fact, true. Um, but yeah, it's all on the same road to Tipperary or whatever. <laughs> you know, the real road is is that the 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 game has to be civilized to play, but it's also there's no game to play. I mean, of course you want to play it civilized, but there's still no game to play. So even civilized is stupid. You're, you're still just doing some kind of in drag thing. You're still just contriving, um, faking it. All right, and that's what the human race is doing. They're faking it. And, and that's sort of what the aphorism video I'm going to do next is on is to subject this idea that you have to create the problem before you can have a solution. <laughs> and that's the real problem here. There's no such thing as anything worthwhile or good unless there's something that needs it. And that's just the truth of it. The need comes first. The broken comes first and then comes along the little fix that makes it happy for a few minutes. The little, um, you know, chocolate covered whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, this is the rules of the universe's game. You don't, you know, you, everything we do with our intelligence is basically just to entertain um, the needs of our consciousness, the needs of our psychology, or our physiology, our, our bodily needs, make us comfortable. That's all it's there. That's all. It doesn't serve any other purpose. We don't use it for any other purpose. Um, even understanding the universe, we are doing it because we need to understand, just because we like to know answers, we like to know what the hell is going on, um, but also because it has some sort of potential value in terms of improving our lives or improving our state of being. Um, so there just isn't. It's not, a, it's not, a, it's, a, it's on its face an impractical and stupid game. Because you basically have to create negatives. You have to basically break something before we can come along and try to fix it and feel all good about ourselves because we fix something. That's all there is. And so he's complaining because he's, she's basically stating that I'm somehow the, a breaker, not a fixer, which I think is stupid. Um, but anyway, getting back to his point about this population thing. So anybody who argues for some other reason for population control, some other reason why... Um, we should maybe take control of this a little bit, and that's another part of this I want to get to, um, is a fanatic. And even that kind of terminology is just so useless. You know, extremist, that was the term he used. Um, because there's always, in the beginning, <laughs> everything is an extremist. Every progressive, um, you know, uh, um, knowledge, new, our challenging idea, um, you know, had to grow out of a minority opinion first, uh, an extremist position first. So there's just no point in playing that game. You know, like somehow it's proof of the quality of an idea if it's very common and pop culture-y, if everybody agrees with it. It's exactly the opposite. Usually that's evidence of something that's wrong, not something that's right. Um, so anyway, I don't want to get caught up in a, a battle of um, simple cliches describing what the truth is made out of. But obviously it's a progression, and we're on this progression. This, 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 we're climbing this maze wall and looking over the game. And I'm just saying every fact we've gleaned 
has been fundamentally negative. And um, I'm not being some kind of negative asshole for just saying, yeah, let's, let's start looking at this and start saying, what are we going to do about it? Instead of just saying, oh, well, the universe is just an asshole. I mean, that's just stupid. Um, I mean, if you were stuck in some sort of rotten circumstance, uh, <laughs> you know, the thing to do is like, you know, you're in a lifeboat in the ocean. You really don't need some guy telling shark jokes. That's not going to get you anywhere. You know, you need a plan. You know, you need some way to deal with the, the circumstances. I mean, negative circumstances require some action. As I said, so there's another argument of his, is this isn't the medium, apparently, or this isn't the method. And, um, again, yeah, it'd be, it'd be really nice if I could just be president, okay? But it just doesn't work that way. You have to start somewhere else besides president of the world. So I'm starting somewhere else, okay? But you have to start. It's one of those, you know... A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step and all that kind of crap. And, and so again, you just, this is, you're saying that you're so intelligent and yet you're not smart enough to realize that there really is no other way to do something if you want to get something done than to start with the little steps, the little bits of progress, the little all you can do kind of things, what's available. And maybe it comes to nothing and maybe it doesn't. But it won't come to anything if you just start telling jokes and do nothing. You know, that's not going to paddle the boat to the island. <laughs> you know, um, what else? Hey, I guess this whole nonsense that somehow I'm this gloomy Gus, or he calls it some other thing, you know, Nama Jamma, or whatever, some 19... 38 cliche. He must be pretty old if that's what he comes up with. It's his old terminology. But anyway, um, gloomy Gus kind of talk. Uh, I mean, really, I do have a sense of humor. I'm not just humorless, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not exactly, I mean, this, you know, if it, if it wasn't, if it didn't have some connection to, you know, it is a little ludicrous, right? I mean, the, 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 the human train is roaring for the cliff. You'll even concede that point, And you're just basically saying, no one panic. You know, I'll just tell some jokes. Well, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I say, well, let's maybe see if we can just uncouple a car or two or do something about this mess. You know, you give, give out painkillers anyway. Mix up some aspirin in the back room. Just something, you know, besides telling jokes. I mean, I just don't see the point in that, you know. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, that's the substance of his complaint. I mean, somehow this is just too burdensome, and you're just like, what the fuck? So you can't advocate for vegetarianism and the welfare of animals, yeah, and he really mocks that again, and it's just like, wow, you're mocking your killing of animals, like that's going to hurt me somehow, or you're going to win you an argument, or win you a friend, yeah, it'll win you uh, buddyship, camaraderie, with people who aren't very intelligent, I mean, you're really not going to win that one either, you know, if you dick the IQ of the vegetarians, dick the IQ of the meat eaters, I think you're going to lose that one too, fella. So, um, you know, it's not really the future. It's really not. It's an old, dumb tradition from the past. And anybody with a little bit of knowledge can figure out that it's, you don't need to do it. There's lots of other things to eat. Um, you know, in most, you know, future visions, you know, you, you, you just eat vitamins and shit. You don't even need to eat all this crap anyway. Uh, but anyway... That's besides the point. But yeah, so so that's just too burdensome. It's too burdensome to sit there and talk about what the substance of our existence is. Let's, you know, talk about what it means to be human and alive. And, uh, but you can't do that in any kind of dark framework. The intelligent thing to do is to pretend the truth doesn't exist and just talk a bunch of shit lies to each other. And you're going to say that's, that's intelligent. That's what smart people do. Sorry. No, I mean, just no sale. And the bottom line is, again, he's saying, 
that somehow I win because for me personally it's going to be all over soon enough and that's supposed to give me comfort somehow I mean you know this one again how can you say you're intelligent if you can't even do the 2 plus 2 math that that you know and realize that if I got here okay <laughs> that somebody else can get here all right who doesn't want to be here or doesn't find it charming or who just feels like they've been stuck here because of really poor decision making so, so again I mean I just don't how, how would how does it not happen again and again and again how is it how, how does me dying stop the rinse repeat rinse repeat you know reality of existence under these circumstances I don't you know it just doesn't you know I'm doomed to fail um, if I took your perspective and just said well once I'm out of it I'm out of it <laughs> yeah well I wasn't apparently out of it because I'm in it I mean the fact that I'm in it is sort of proof that I'm somehow not out of it because I'm sure if I was in it before I was saying I'd rather be left alone and I obviously haven't been left alone because here I am kind of thing metaphorically <laughs> um, so really these aren't complicated ideas it really isn't that complicated I mean if you were a slave and you saw some other slaves, you know, having babies, you know, and you'd say, what are you doing? I mean, you know, what the fuck are you thinking? You, you, you know, you'd know that it was really dumb, that you're just making more power for the man, <laughs> you know, and they're just going to create another victim. And you're just going to perpetuate my suffering in that life form. It's just going to go on, and it's going to go on, and it's going to go on. And so it's not going to end when I die. Because that little guy is going to take up my pick, or my sickle, and be stuck in the same shit. That really shouldn't be hard for you to understand. But anyway, your, your reaction is just so preposterously excessive. So, so you mean you talk about our extremism, and, but what's what's the extremism of this overreaction against people who are merely articulating a belief system um, that's basically consistent with yours on the idea of futility, um, and the only inconsistency is that they are silly enough to think suffering matters, <laughs> you know, because somehow you you super intelligent people have the secret truth that it really doesn't matter mm -hmm. sorry I can't see how that's gonna work for you no I think we'll be able to write idiot on your tombstone because that just sounds really really dumb uh, okay so anyway that's probably enough and uh, play a little bit of this crap and see where it goes Let's just play a little. I mean, this gets better towards the end, but we'll play a little here in the beginning. Well, this is this is probably where he's just talking about population control. So that was kind of boring and inane and stupid. Uh, like I have made the same videos. No energy problem and all that kind of crap is really big problem. Blah 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 blah. And actually, I think you know to really deal with the um, energy problem, two two nuclear power plants a year ain't going to do it. Um, you know, just to match what we're using in oil, I think the number comes out to something like 5,000. You know, it's a lot, a lot of energy. You, 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 but how much, how much energy do you think we would save? You know, he's doing this crap again. It's not about emotions, asshole. It's about an understanding. And yeah, that context is disturbing. I mean, if you see a dead animal on the side of the road, it's, you know, a little fluffy cat, maybe, I don't know, maybe you care about something, hamsters, maybe you're a hamster kind of guy. Um, you find a little dead hamster on the side of the road, it might disturb you, it might cause you a little bit of pain. You might say, oh, you see, that's kind of un not nice. Or, you know, you're driving, you see a horrible car accident, and, you know, there's a dead girl sitting in a car, and you're driving by, and maybe that'll disturb you, because you have this image, and you have a, it has a context to you, and a meaning. And so this is what you do, wham, wham, yeah, what, what is that guy? Because people um, find things disturbing. 
So you're allowed to be disturbed. You're allowed to have your issues. And you, other people just aren't allowed to. Unless they're yours. <laughs> I mean, that's... And you can so that's what you're claiming is an intelligent perspective. Um, I can feel, but you're not allowed to. I feel about the right things. You feel about the wrong things. I, I don't know. Sounds like crap to me. Uh, but anyway, I was going to ask you this energy thing. Why, why don't you do the calculation if you're such a brainiac and you have all this, you understand all these trilobites of electricity and shit. Well, why don't you tell me how much energy would be saved if the world converted to vegetarianism. Because it's a huge amount, fucker. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's 70 times more efficient just to eat the vegetables instead of feeding them to bovines and other animals that just create a lot of methane. Um, so why don't you do that? Why don't you do a greenhouse calculation and figure out how much energy humanity would save if it converted to a vegetarian diet? Perhaps you're not clear on this because I don't go around saying it because people usually find this kind of thing rather abrasive, but mm -hmm. I am smarter than you, Gary. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, whatever. Let's do Jeopardy or something, right? Um, let's, let's say even if you were, let's say you had more facts and figures about some kind of bullshit, like you knew more inane trivia, like you knew the name of more baseball players than me. Right? Or NASCAR drivers. Yeah, you probably know the name of more NASCAR drivers than I do. Doesn't mean anything, asshole. This isn't... The truth isn't really that hard to understand. It's not like super complicated math, you know, like all that quantum set theory shit, you know, where they're basically putting formulas inside formulas inside formulas. Yeah, it's none of that shit. It's really simple. It's <laughs> like evolution, um, you know, uh, gladiator war, uh, built-in death and failure. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really not that complicated. The story of life is really fucking Dr. Seuss simple. It's like alligator chomp chomp yum yum. I mean, it's stupid simple, you know. So you don't need a, you really don't need to be brillianticated. Uh, to um, be insightful on this subject. You have to know a few of the right things. You know what you really have to do? You have to make sure you don't have your brain broken by a bunch of idiotic notions like you can't make an art out of an is or some other kind of idiotic crap like there's no value in the universe because it's invisible. <laughs> yeah, it's not made out of atoms. And such. Yeah, if you don't fall for that shit, that nonsense, yeah, the truth is really easy. Do, 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 do. I hit the little arrow. We don't have to say this because people with any kind of perceptive abilities pick up on it, despite me not being. Able to <laughs> yeah, well, see, that, yeah, that's a real. That's kind of an unintelligent thing to say, right? Because actually, dumb people don't. They can't pick up on shit. Okay, dumb people think they're smart. So, yeah, that just doesn't work, right? Because most people think they're smarter than smart people. That's the scary thing. Betty, Betty, scary. What you are saying, you're pissing and moaning and talking about how life is suffering, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not actually doing that, okay? People keep putting those words in my mouth, but... I haven't said them that all. I don't say life is suffering. What I say is life is expensive. Okay? That's all. Life is really expensive, and unfortunately, it happens to be useless and futile. So expensive and futile. Oops, mistake there. You don't pay a whole lot of money for something that's useless. That would be dumb. Like an upside-down house or something. You wouldn't want to pay a lot of money for an upside-down house now, would ya? It's not helping anybody. You're just being a Debbie Downer, okay? And... <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Debbie Downer. What's the one for upper? Uh, Yosemite upper? No. Um, 
We need a girl's name. What if that's it? What if you came back as a girl? Huh? You want to do that? You know, people are going to be born tomorrow. They're going to be girls. Would you want your consciousness trapped in a girl's body? Hmm? <laughs> if you want to have a depressive quitter attitude about life, that is fine. I don't have a depressive quitter's attitude. I have a, uh, a rational repulsion to waste and stupidity. And I realize that as a sentient organism, my class is going to be abused and horrible shit is going to happen if nobody does anything to try to turn the little boat around. It's going to go over the falls, fucker! And it's going to be messy and sloppy and ooh, ow, ow, ow. When we could just drive it into the bank, okay? Have some orgies and shit and just let it go. Okay, just let it go. We don't need to make more of it. Just don't go making people feel like shit because they're not... Well, whatever. I don't think I'm making people feel like shit. So I think that's a lie. You haven't proven I've done any of that. Um, I think people, some people would feel very good if they were doing something stupid and somebody pointed it out and they might go, Oh, yeah, I am being kind of an asshole. I really don't have to eat as much meat as I am. I think somebody could say to themselves, wow, I really don't have to eat that much meat. I can do a lot of shit. And yeah, it would be a nice gesture of me to just, a little bit of inconvenience. I give it away to, to free uh, 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 an animal from suffering pointlessly. Yeah, wow, okay, that's, that's a win. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds good to me. doing anything when they can't do anything. That's the big lie too, right? So that's the, <laughs> the intelligent philosophy is you can't change anything. So, you know, you're the Debbie Downer, right? You're the one telling Martin Luther King, he'd be whispering in his ear, you can't change the world, Martin. You're wasting your time. Why don't you just uh, roll a doobie and go fuck that whore? <laughs> you know, What's this? What's what's the point in this? This? Well, I don't even. I don't even want. You know, there's no point. You're just engaged in some sort of slop back and forth here, um, because what? You, you really think that's that advice? I'm gonna. I'm just all. Oh, it's gonna occur to me to say, oh wow, gee, that is so right. I should just be a selfish asshole like all these selfish assholes. I've clearly recognized as selfish assholes and have no desire to be. <laughs> yeah, no, I like me. I don't like you. I mean, damn, why would I change myself into one of you fucks? I don't want to be you. Really. It's, that's the truth. Okay, is that so hard? No, I'm going to go see if your video's done downloading so I can go ahead and respond to the parts of it. Yeah, blah, Wait. blah, blah. Don't so, so you're this big smart guy and you don't have a reliable internet connection or something? Oh, that's in the way your little convenient little lies for humorous effect or something. <laughs> You're one of these people who thinks that you know best for everybody. Yeah, well, anyway, that's not the subject at all, right? I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I'm talking about <clears throat> one basic subject. Okay, I mean, it has these other elements to it, but I mean, it's basically just the economics of utilitarian perspective, okay? That's all that's here, okay? And as a utilitarian, what I'm valuing, the utility, the value in my equations, my ethical schema, is um, this capacity for a sentient to be degraded in its conscious state. And uh, so, yeah, that's the value. I do the math and I draw the conclusions, okay? And so, yeah, I'm a vegetarian and I think people can be better to animals, so I'm advocating for that betterment. And then in the bigger picture, I'm saying, well, look, this whole game is really stupid. So we not only not, don't need to eat the animals, we don't need to be fucking each other over and chasing these gold medals and all this other fiddle-faddle because it's all just kind of basically bullshit. We've already written... 
No, Shakespeare wrote all the good <laughs> plays. You know, we already know what the draw the drama works. All the soap operas have the same theme. You know, it's all this little underdog story thing. We actually have words like formula television. Because, yeah, we already know the formula. It's all just a stupid moronic recipe. So we already know what's in the special sauce. It, there is no... There is no special sauce. It's unspecial sauce. The whole thing is just kind of slop. Because it's made out of shit ingredients. Evolution. Gladiator war. Carnage. Skin ripping off a thing. I mean, it's just, there's no, it's all bad ingredients. Retard. <clears throat> you just have to tell everybody how they should do their business. Okay, like, you're don't like don't telling do. me, and then you're like... That's not even, again, not, it's not even what I've been advocating, so you don't even pay much attention to what I say. <clears throat> I mean, that's just kind of rude, really, because that's not what I say. I just advocate for the fact that eating meat, I think, okay, is ethically inappropriate. And you can stop eating it, or you can advocate that other people stop eating it, or you can just say, as I've stated, that, no, you really can't control your addiction but you certainly do support the future generation not being in, having that addiction imposed on it. You certainly could suggest that, yeah, it would be perfectly sensible for people to, to jump on that bandwagon. Why would you argue against the bandwagon? It's the good wagon going to the good place, and yet you're making videos saying it's somehow not a good wagon, and it's not a good place. That's what you did, asshole. <laughs> You don't have a rational argument to defend that bullshit. All you're saying is, I like it still. I'm not giving up on it. And you won't... <laughs> and if you had any intelligence or intellectual integrity, you'd admit that you see absolutely nothing negative about human beings converting to vegetarianism. And yet you're feeding the people who are mocking and, and ridiculing and creating energy against any kind of movement of people in that direction. Why? Because some of them might be coerced a little by, by guilt? Oh my god, what a crime! Oh man, weird. Sorry, that's just weird. Listen to do something that is futile? Is it smart to do something that doesn't do anybody any good, it wastes your time? Well, whatever. You're saying all of that shit. There's, I don't have any evidence that it's wasting my time. I mean, how many pigs do I have to save to be a good guy? To be, for it to be worth it, fuckwit? How many? I mean, I've converted hmm, dozens, if not hundreds of people, maybe. Uh, helped convert, helped move progressively forward into the future. Yes, I have. Now, i say it's worth something. It's not nearly as good as I want it to be. But again, I'm going to argue that I, I'm not going to catch the whale if I'm not even fishing in the ocean. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't really want to go fishing for a whale. But, you know, well, you know. But, yeah, I mean, I have to have my line in the water. Okay, the whales ain't coming to me. I has to go to them. I mean, a smart guy like you... Patronizing wink and such ought to be able to figure that out. Um, and this makes you focus on shitty stuff. Explain to me shitty from your perspective, okay? Whoop de doo. I mean, why don't we just get down to it? Just start calling each other's butts ugly. Right? What's the fucking point of this shit? You subjectively think I subjectively, I blah blah. No, there's a truth in the world. I think I've got it, and I'm not going to let go of it until you come up with a rational argument why vegetarian is wrong and why life isn't futile and wasteful. And I don't think you can make either one of those arguments. You're just saying, why don't you just stand around and tell jokes like me? Because I think that's stupid. The logic of that. Pointless. Painful. 
Also, making other people feel like shit if you're so goddamn concerned about... Well, prove it. Prove I made somebody feel like shit. Go ahead, prove it. It just sounds like bullshit to me. I make videos on the internet and... in a non-dishonest manner. <laughs> I mean, really. I don't force anybody to watch the videos. What is this? Oh, yeah, let's move on. A little bit. Hey, I can't stop myself. I normally eat almost no meat, but it's just like talking to you. I just want to eat meat so bad. It's like an affirmation of life. Oh, it's okay. So, <laughs> so that's the rest of the video. He just talks about how much he loves his chickens and his nuggets, and he's going to eat more and more nuggets because I'm talking. So it's the kind of it's the same kind of threat as the Amazing Atheist video, you know. Go ahead, vegetarians. Talk more about vegetarianism, and I'll make I'll eat more hamburgers, and I'll throw them out my window. You know, I'll give, I'll send the frickin' meat industry a check for free. I'll give them donations. I'll raise money for the poor meat producers. Why? Because people do something sensible, rational, good for their own health and welfare. And you somehow resent that. How dare they convert to rationality? How dare they convert to a more productive lifestyle? I mean, you can't see how that's just fucking pathetic. God, that's enough of a video. But man, you really, you, you can't make videos this dumb and then like have a part in there where you say you're smarter than somebody because man, I mean, you're not smarter than the fucking retards in the comment section. This, this, is, this is just idiotic crap. Yeah, I mean, really, you have some vocabulary. But that's about it. The rest of it's not logical. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you haven't said too much that's very logical. You really haven't. Yeah, it's true. Lying isn't logical either. Lying is just sucky. So that's another strike against you. Oh, you're lying. Even your fake icon, you probably don't even like cats. Yeah. Just using them to...